Hey, this is Gary Tonin again. Uh, this is, uh, I'm here to show you one of the things I, I take great pride in in my jiu-jitsu is my escapes. So I'm gonna show you an escape into a submission today, uh, possibly two different submissions. Um, we're gonna work on a triangle escape, okay? And this is the triangle escape that I always use, so uh, my opponents, don't watch. Okay, my partner's gonna po punch one of my arms through. I start getting caught in this triangle here, so immediately what I've been taught since the beginning is to start posturing up, but posture is not enough. You can pull me back down. So I have to make sure I posture and then place my hips underneath them as I posture. So I posture, wedge, posture, wedge, and I get into a position where I can start to uh, stop him from crunching me down. All right, once I get to this position, yeah, sure, sometimes I can fight it off, but if it's super tight, I gotta make even more posture. So I'm gonna start standing up, all right, keep extending into my partner's hips, and eventually on either side, me personally, it's always easier for me to get this side foot over my partner, but you can do the other side as well. I get the foot over the body, and then once I get into this position, I fight to get both legs in so that I can break. All right, a lot of times, lock the, lock the triangle again, I use my hands to kind of open up all right, my partner's legs. And once I get into positions like this, there's a numerous amount of leg locks I can start to go into, okay? You have you know, full position around your partner's hips, you have both his legs to attack. So you can start setting yourself up into whatever you want. I'm gonna choose the heel hook from here. I'll gain control over my partner's ankle. I'll push his knee away. And I'm gonna thread my leg through, all right, my partner's legs. So I have a figure four here, and I'm stopping this leg from turning. All right, I start to turn towards this side to attack my heel hook. I create a bend in my partner's ankle. I lock palm to palm and keep my hands nice and high. All right, now I'm gonna begin, start to bring his toes towards his butt for the tap, okay? Now, if we're talking about IBJJF legal situations, obviously the setups for the ankle lock are right there as well. Any leg attacks that you want, once we're in this position where I have control over my partner's hips, I control my partner's ankle. I start to isolate the leg. Me personally, I'm gonna favor going to a belly down position from here. All right, with that ankle lock, I'm bridging into my partner's leg. All right, with the hand on the mat. All right, thanks a lot guys. Hopefully you like that little variation.